Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Tiki. If you have ever worked with scheduled task in Spring Boot, then you know how powerful the scheduled annotation can be, right? In a single instance application, everything works fine, no duplicate execution. But what happen when you deploy your application across multiple instances? How do you ensure that your scheduled task don't run simultaneously on different server? For example, if it already ran in instance 1, then it should not execute again either on instance 2 or 3. Is it possible to design such a system? Yes. That's where Sedlog comes into the picture. Sedlog is a lightweight library that ensure your scheduled task run only once in a distributed system. So in this video, I'll break down why you need Sedlog, how it works internally. and we'll even build a hands on example step by step okay all right so without any further delay let's get started So before we start implementing said log let's understand the problem without said log in action so i have created a simple scheduled service if you observe i just define a method who will just print some statement on every 2 second that is what the frequency of my scheduler i have defined in the code apart from that i don't have any additional logic in the entire project so you can check here fine now let's do one thing Let's run the same application in two different instances. Then we'll observe whether these scheduled logic is being executed in two different instances or not. Okay. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just open two different terminal. One instance I'll run on port eight zero eight one, and the second instance I'll run on port eight zero eight two. Now at the same time, I will start both. So if you observe here. in both the instance you can see the logic the statement what you have printed in our scheduled task 49 51 53 50 52 every 2 second both the instance is doing the same duplicate job this is fine if you observe in our code we have just simple sopln or log statement but what if in real time you have the schedule logic for report generation or sending notification so i cannot duplicate this complex task in production i don't want to send the duplicate report to the user or even i don't want to send the duplicate notification to the user so this is not acceptable in production so to overcome this kind of issue we have the solution called said log now let's implement the said log and then we'll observe how it avoid duplicate run fine now to start with the said log first you need to add the said log dependency so i have the dependency just copy this dependency go to your pom.xml just paste it here so i am using 5.8.0 but you can check out the latest version and can start using it i also need to enable my database connection to my application so i am using spring boot starter data jpa and i am using mysql fine so these are the dependency you need to add so now let me give you some high level context about how this said log works internally okay so as you understand we are running two instance of our application now how one instance will know that okay the scheduled task is run by some other instance so for that we need to store the start time of that job and who is the instance who started that job okay so for that reason we need a database so let's say instance one will start the scheduled task he will apply the log until unless the instance one is not release the log instance 2 cannot run it again so in this way 
you can prevent the duplicate run now once the instance one release the log instance two can get a chance and he can start working on it okay or the scheduled task can be start picking by the instance two if you have n number of instance a single instance need to apply the log until unless he finishes execution other instance cannot run it again okay that is how some simple logic said log implemented behind the scene this is completely abstract for us we just need to configure few things and create a database our job is done okay how the locking will be applied how the log will be released everything will be take care by the said log itself fine now what we can do let's go to our code we have added the jp dependency now let's create a said log table okay so you can create the table by defining the entity since we are using the spring data jpa but to make it simple i am just creating the table manually so just go to your database editor what you are using execute this particular command so it create the table for us now let me check the record is empty now if you observe here the schema of this table what is the name of your task log until till what time you want to apply the log and you don't want to release it log at when you apply the log logged by which instance applied the log now here i have two instance now currently instance 2 is started the scheduled job so instance 2 will fill the table of said log saying that okay i am the instance 2 i started picking the scheduled task and i will release i will apply the log till this time and i apply the log this time like this you need to fill all the information again that will be taken care by said log fine so this is how said log will manage the log for different instance now as you understand this particular table will be auto populated by said log but for that you need to define few configuration in your code now let's go to the code first let me enable all the data source properties so that said log can connect to the db and validate the locking mechanism now let me create a separate class here in this said log config class we'll tell to the said log hey this is what my data source you try to connect and already i created the table for you you just play with that since this is the configuration class just define the annotation configuration and then i'll just create a bean of log provider so just define a bean now this is the said log provider in need data source now simply return the implementation of log provider which is jdbc log provider and if you observe the argument it needs data source just give the data source to the log provider and just define at the red bean that's it right now here you need to play with one important annotation that is at the rate enable scheduler log by defining this annotation we are telling to spring scheduler hey just enable the said log for me and just keep the log most 10 minute okay so what it does it ensure a log is held for at most 10 minute if the service is crash so as you know in distributed system if an instance crashes while holding a log the log might never be released by specifying this attribute you can tell to the said log hey if any instance is crashed just release the log right after 10 minute okay that is how we can define all good we are done with the configuration now just go to the service where you are running your schedule task now here you also need to tell to the said log keep the log for minimum this duration and max this duration after that if there is any crash just simply release it 
so define the annotation scheduler log then give the name of your log so i'll just define something unique task name then you just need to define log at most for at least for okay i want to keep max log for 5 minute or you can give any number based on your need and minimum log i want to keep for 2 second you can give any number i just want to take the small number so that i can show you in the dv you can keep it since it is 5 minute you can keep it 2 minute or 1 minute like that okay that is what the simple thing i have done now we are all set to go with the side lock demo so it's very simple right we have just define a configuration and we just provide the lock provider for side lock then we just play with this enable scheduler lock annotation and we kept it 10 minute so that within 10 minute if the instance will crash after 10 minute the lock will be immediately released by side lock okay so that other instance can start picking that particular task same way we also define the scheduler lock on method level who will do the task what is the task name of it and what is the maximum duration the lock will be held this way you can prevent the stale lock and the minimum duration the lock will held two second all good so as before let's run our application in two different instance then we'll validate whether said lock is allowing duplicate or it prevent the duplicate that is what our end goal to understand right now let's go to the terminal and just run it same time this is the second instance run both the instance let's wait one of the instance to start printing the scheduled uh, log so if you observe the output instance one first get the log and it printed the statement on 55 second then going forward instance two get a log or he acquired the log and printing on every two second that is what our schedule or cron expression right 57 59 0 1 3 5 like that every two second and there could be a chance in middle instance one can acquire the log and start printing the uh, console statement or uh, get chance to execute your scheduled job okay there is no guarantee that only one instance will run both the instance can run but there will be no duplicate that is what the end goal now to validate that in the dv what we can do just execute this can you see here the lock until lock applied till 15 second and when it applied 13 second so there is a 2 second gap if you understand lock at least for 2 second keep the lock minimum for 2 second and that is what the difference here lock applied at 13 but it will be available or it is active till 15 second now if i will refresh it again you can see the difference it applied on 43 the current timestamp and available till next 2 second that is 45 run it again 53 55 so you can change this number as per your use case so to just show this difference in our dv i just keep the simple number or small number now if you'll go here still the instance 2 only have the active lock and he is printing the schedule job statement that's all good no worries you can give it try in your machine and see the difference fine so if you have a scheduled task and your application is deployed in different instance whether it could be on traditional bm or in a container like kubernetes you could apply this said log okay as you understand said log is an effective way to ensure scheduled task which will run only once in a distributed system so here i am using gpa but if you want you can use the jdbc redis or mongodb anything as a database okay so this way you can always prevent the duplicate run in a distributed system so just give a try i will share the code in video description uh, you can check that out and just try on your machine and let me know if you have any doubts that's 
all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept